All right, guys, so, uh, and girls, really, I thought I'd do this video because I'm getting so many messages from women who are confused about these low carb diets. Doesn't matter if it's low carb, high fat, keto omnivore, or keto carnivore. Now, many years ago, I told people, don't eat cheese, don't eat nuts, and don't drink caffeine. What I didn't consider back in those days was oxalates, anti-nutrients, but then I did say watch your salicylates and your oxalates and goitrogens, but I didn't understand how bad they could frack you up. Well, now things have evolved from influencer men giving women bad advice. And I'm kind of tired of it. And the reason why I'm tired of it is because I do consultations every day for pennies on the dollar. I don't make a lot of money and I've been doing them for years, 10 years, thousands of people. I started working with carnivore Yogi, go check out her channel. And uh, she's doing carnivore and was having kidney problems, water retention problems, lethargy problems, swelling problems, problems, thyroid problems, hormonal problems. Uh, ovulation problems on top of problems on top of problems, taking advice from men. Intelligence doesn't always equate common sense. How can you when you're not a woman? I mean, my neighbor's so loud. My neighbors are getting loud in their apartment, just freaking out. But I digress, they're stuck. Um, I'm not, because I get to see thunder. The problem is, is that, let's break it down. There's the problem of hypoglycemia, thyroid, gallbladder, and reproductive system. These are the main ones because women live two days in one. How do I know this? Because I constantly watch it in consultations where kids are running by in the background and the husband's doing whatever. Kids are on the lap, climbing on the moms. Women live two days in one. And for women who are older, who've got grown kids or you don't have kids, we still live two days in one. Men don't understand this. We have very delicate hormonal systems. Just for the fact that during your cycle, on the 14th day, when you ovulate, your blood sugar goes cray cray. You ever heard of PMS, right? Before your cycle starts? Men aren't experiencing this. So how are they giving it? They don't even think that way. Yet you women are following these male influencers and they're telling you to eat two pounds of beef when you have hypochlorhydria. You're not eating enough fat. You're not getting enough cholesterol in. So, boop, there goes the menstrual cycle because now you're eating at one meal a day. And people are telling you to eat one meal a day because you want to experience autophagy, which they cannot measure. It's like a ghost floating in the air because you have to consider all factors of the body and not just science papers, concepts. Real people. Where do I get my information from? You guys. Same symptoms. Menstrual cycle is wacky. I'm either, you know, light for two days or I'm heavy for two days and then it's gone on the third day. Or it's light all the time or I'm over bleeding. Do people talk about that going on low carb diets or my menstrual cycle is gone or now it's 35 days or now it's, you know, 20 days. No, of course not. Because they don't think about how wonky your endocrine system goes when you're still looking at your iPads and your phones in bed, when you're still dealing, dealing with jobs and kids and two days in one and staying up late. No one's talking about estrogen dominance and how people can't poop anymore, especially women. IBS, Crohn's, diverticulitis, tick, tick box goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's really frustrating because eating two pounds of meat a day, but you have, you have hypochlorhydria. You can't break down that meat. You're not ketotic. You're already insulin resistant. And now you're just more insulin resistant because people say eat one meal and you will drop your A1C and insulin, uh, maybe for a couple weeks and then it rebounds. And then you're more insulin resistant because the thyroid starts getting pissed at you. More women have thyroid issues due to estrogen dominance and fasting. What makes you more estrogen dominant? You're not getting in your electrolytes. You don't get enough fat. Boom goes the cycle. Boom goes the thyroid. Boom goes the gallbladder. A woman who do... Yes, the gallbladder, estrogen dominance, sitting, not moving, poor circulation. 
ovaries, thyroid, ovaries, thyroid. Low carb diets, problem people. Men, stop giving women advice. You don't know what you're talking about. And the one or two women that say, oh, I'm doing fabulous. You think everybody's honest online? They're not. Why is that not a discussion? People aren't saying when they feel like crap. Why would they do that? They think they won't make money if you tell the truth. Hey, my electrolytes are wonky. I swelled up 10 pounds of water. Or I was really tired because my potassium was low. Because I'm going to eat two pounds of beef and get my potassium from that? When you have leaky gut? You guys are doing carnivore because you have leaky gut. You guys are doing keto because omnivore because you have leaky gut. And you're not absorbing your your uh, micronutrients. Is anybody? I don't understand this madness. It doesn't take a lot to understand that people are having thyroid problems. Their hair is falling out. Their menstrual cycle is wonky. They're exhausted. Oh, I sleep well. I go to bed at you know 11 and wake up at 10. I wake up 20 times during the night. Is anybody considering hypoglycemia in the middle of the night? No. Nobody's talking about being ketotic while doing carnivore. Where are you going to get your energy from? You're fat? You're not. You don't burn fat. You have inefficient fat cells. I am putting a message out to the men who are gurus out there. Be very careful for the women because I get them. Women follow me because I'm a woman. And I'm in my 50s. I'm not a 20-something-year-old. When I was having issues on keto, I didn't talk about it. I didn't talk about it until I understood what was going on. But that was way back in the day when ain't nobody on the internet talking about this low carb stuff. I didn't understand back. Those are the energy, energy, energy days. Remember? You guys remember when I didn't know much? So it was so awkward to be online. Now it's like everybody and their grandmother's online as a guru. Don't trust me. Go on, look, go talk to your friends, talk to your female co-workers. And man, that's a whole nother subject with all the men who've got low testosterone today and are aromatizing with too much, too much estrogen and going through depression. Be very careful, women. If you don't want more damage, don't just listen to blanket statements. Oh, in this Facebook group, and that may be my next video, please get off these Facebook groups where people are just vomiting, whatever. There's no real conversation anymore about real symptoms. And then when you do question, hey, I'm feeling sick with these two teaspoons of salt and not considering potassium, people taking no salt for the potassium and uh, eating one meal a day and my hair is falling out and I'm feeling tired. And when you do question that, they kick you out of the groups. What is happening to us humans? All right, guys, just a quick note. Please, women, be very careful. Because this man's doing well, that don't mean you will. And I don't even believe that they're doing well because all of us gurus have gone through some shite and don't talk about it, okay? All of us have. Be very careful. And what's good for the goose is not good for the gander just because that worked for that person. You guys, I don't talk about, I don't show my diet, you know why? Because I am freaking hardcore with my life. With, you know how many people do carnivore and drink coffee? You know how many people do carnivore who cheat? That's going to be my next video. And don't tell the truth. And then you finally get it out of them. You have to be in ketosis to do carnivore or else you start to damage your endocrine system. How do I know this? Because I've done this for 12 years. 12 years I've done keto omnivore. omnivore I've had this much plants. Riding that line of carnivore, I know exactly what goes wrong. And it's a lot of stuff. A lot. So I'll go more into this. I'll do more of a video series of if your sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium is off, and vitamin D, what happens, right? What happens when you eat one meal a day? What happens when you don't drink enough water, when you don't sleep well? This is a serious video. I still got energy, but this is a serious video. Be careful, women. Don't believe the hype if it seems too easy to be true it's not including the whole weight loss now on carnivore which is a new thing y'all i did keto when no one heard about it then it blew up and now it's like a joke carnivore is right below the blow up and then it will be a joke 
These dietary measures can help you or hurt you. You've got to decide. Are you going to be on the be smart side and don't jump into the hype? Or are you going to be on the dumb side and just follow what anybody says, including me, be careful, without thinking first yourself. To learn more, go stephanieperson.com. I'm the one person that goes against the grain. At least you have that and thousands of people that I've worked with over time and not being in my freaking 20s or 30s or 40s. stephanieperson.com and consistency and physically consistent. I only wear sports bras to show you guys a video catalog of 10 years of what I look like, that I ain't hiding nothing. Well, I used to. I mean, physically. <laughs> uh, to uh, learn more, go to stephanieperson.com. I do consultations. And I also do, I have a course, which is uh, through stephanieperson.com. It's 15 bucks a month, one month or many months, but I work my butt off. I'm about to do free consultations on that page in about a few minutes. <laughs> Go to stephanieperson.com and learn to learn more. Or you can go to free places right here on YouTube. Comment on more things you want me to talk about. Also go to my Facebook uh, fan page at Stephanie the Business Dish Person. Uh, or to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic. And I'm out. Peace, guys.